So here's the track. I made it a while ago. Um, you know, it could have been mixed better, but it's kind of got its own thing going on. It's like a little old school kind of kind of beat. But uh, here, so let's take a listen. Okay, so, I mean, it sounds pretty good, like, I mean, right off the bat, I'm sure you could tell there's no <laughs> high end, but that's kind of, kind of works, but, um, so I'm not going to touch the EQ on this, because, you know, I mixed it, say, you know, I mixed it to where I wanted it, um, I wouldn't touch the EQ, but in hindsight, you know, coming back to this, like, I don't know, eight months later, I mean, it, it, maybe it needs some high end, maybe it doesn't. It's kind of just doing its thing. I'm not going to touch the EQ. No, we don't need like a reverb on it. I don't think that's necessary, but we could use a harmonic exciter. So let's let's just take it to the extremes and see what doesn't work. You know, the harmonic exciter just kind of gets, I mean, it's going to translate better to smaller speakers, basically. It's also an effect. That's crunchy. It kind of brightens that up. And a good, a good thing to do is just take it to where you want it and just dial it back a bit. It seems kind of weird, but uh, it's a good technique to not take it too far. Oh, something's going on. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I have Logic 9, that happens. That's, that's a reality. The warm is really subtle. it's louder it's brighter too so I'm gonna take this down a little I don't, I don't think this band's doing anything you can probably hear there's some noise on the I think it's the hi-hats yeah we should probably have gated that uh, but whatever okay all right so let's chill for Harmonic exciter. Now the big one, the dynamics. Oh my god. Okay. So what I do is turn on auto gain so you can really hear what you're doing. You don't have to, you know, turn up the gain, check it, check it back and forth. And you should always when you're doing any kind of dynamic control, you should always make sure that you're actually doing something you want to be doing. Because I mean I used to just throw a compressor on there and be like, oh it's better, it's compressed, everything should be compressed, but that's definitely not the case. So these these predetermined bands are pretty good. I mean, I've you know I might drop this back to a, a little bit, but not in this song. I think about 120 because the bass comes in. I don't know where I cut it off. Bass mid, mid I don't know 500. Kind of looks like. No, uh, what do I do? 300. Okay, yeah. So that that's reasonable. We're just trying to saturate the bottom, not saturate. So we're just listening to the low band. So let's bring this down. You can see the kick and the little bass fighting. I, didn't, I don't think I side chained them very well. So I'm going to look to where it gets punchier. Let me bring this back because the lower frequencies need a little more room. I'm just listening to that initial kick and seeing where it gets punchiest. Let me just...
Let's really bring out the bass more. Yeah, the bass is really sitting nice around there. So that's probably good for that one. Next, we'll go to the next band, solo it, auto gains, engage when you engage it in anyone. Two to one ratio is pretty reasonable, unless you're like, unless you kind of fucked up the mix. You don't really need anything more than that. Let's take it to the extreme. That's obviously bad. So you're looking for where it gets punchier. That's pretty good. What was that? 20. Let me bring this down. Go here. Oh, that's the whole thing. Woo. Thirty four. Yeah. You hear that? Yeah, it's really holding that snare and the reverb. I like that. Maybe dial it back though. I like it. Dial it back a little, huh? raise this yeah it's a little more subtle there we go that's good that's that's good in that band all right last band there's like nothing going on in here but sure that actually sounds better now let's look at all of them okay it's a lot tighter it really is Listen to that snare pop. Wow. It's like, this is the kind of, I, I describe the dynamic range, like a uh, function of this. It, it kind of gives, it's kind of a, a good and bad thing because it makes the whole mix smaller, tighter, which is kind of, that's like the professional sound. But I mean, if you listen to it without the dynamics, it, it's, it's a little bit bigger and kind of, a bad way I don't know it's a weird kind of thing that you a more professional mix is more compressed and it sounds tighter like this but this one's without it it's warmer but we're not going for that we're going for we're gonna make this sound professional ish not that I'm a professional so I think that's pretty reasonable um what you can do is you know put this is gonna half everything you know you're only getting 50% of that Double the percent. That's none. But we'll keep it right in the middle. That's reasonable. Now let's go to this stereo imaging. So it's good. You really want to keep your bass in the middle. Let's just, just straight up. That's mono. So great. These guys. No, because that still's got the kick. Like, I would keep that basically just in the middle. There could be something said for keeping it mono. Let's try that. This can widen up. Definitely. And so can the high end. I might even push that just almost all the way. Sorry, let me. This is not good. It's just better now. <laughs> oh, so, so I've talked about this before. This is basically just doubling your mix. It's putting a small delay. Um, let's listen. It's bigger. Wow. Let's 
keep it subtle, you know? Pretty small. Wow. <laughs> Just widens it up like crazy. But I think for this kind of song, it doesn't need to be brutal stereo. Maybe on like some EDM track, you might push this all the way up. But I think that's that's a pretty reasonable place. Whoa. That's chill. Okay. So I like that. Let me turn this on. Um, we could try out, let's, so this is on, this is on, this is on. Not without. Yeah, it's quieter, but. Wow, it's just, it just pops. Do you hear that? It pops so much. I think actually the snare is too loud now in this band. I really think so. I would honestly, I'm gonna turn this down. I mean, let's see if this, I master it with the, in the project so I can turn stuff down afterwards. Which is maybe like not, I don't know, people might tell you that's not what to do, but I think it's a good thing to do. Yeah. I think that's a lot more even. Alright, so let's try let's try EQing. So I mean if you check out the dynamics, what well, we're losing like 5 dB here, maybe like almost two there, three, two. So what you could do is what, what you um it already automatically compensates for the gain, but let's just try this. I don't ever really put my EQ in. Cause EQ is weird. You don't need to like compensate. You should have already mixed it right. Unless you're getting someone else's track. So just this is this is basically just that's kind of ridiculous. You know, just subtle, maybe like one and a half at the most. Keep it there. One, sure. So that's also gonna make it last, so. I mean that's it's doing the thing is it's hard to tell because it's making it louder, you know um, So I could turn it down by DB, but it's hard to a a B that on both sides But I think this is reasonable, you know, we turn compress everything, you know, bring it back up This is reasonable that it's you know, keep it subtle like let's just try pushing these up really extreme Like is it better? I don't know. No Maybe who knows but just keep it subtle because you don't want to ruin a track that it's so much better to have it and I'm more flat than just like over the top, I think. And that does sound good. These look extreme. It's only like three and a half. I don't know, I liked where I had it. All right, let's chill. And then what I would do is, you know, maximize it to make it loud as fuck. This is really good. I mean, it's pretty subtle. So, okay, without the maximizer though, let's just compare. Um, I'll try to get them to equal loudness. So let's see where this is. Here's my master. It's coming in at like 2.1. And then with this, it's like at five. So let's try to have like a gain here. No, I won't. I'll just turn it up. Turn the read off. So, Alright. Sorry. I gotta turn it off and turn it up by about 3 dB. Wow. That's crazy, right? It sounds so much better. <laughs> like like crazy better. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Wow. So much better. Okay, so that, that's the power of the master. That's just nuts, right? I hope you all heard that. <laughs> it's so much better now. <laughs> um, okay, thank you.